priceless NFL films highlights, making a point, Michael, that you always make, that Edelman from the Patriots, <clears throat> Poe from the Falcons discussion, you always said it's a game of... It's a game of inches. And it was incredible even listening to that and watching that because you saw LeGarrette Blount on the sideline said, every Super Bowl, we have that catch. Because that Julio Jones catch, a game of inches. Yes. Right by... Yep. But, but it was really every Super Bowl you lost, they had to catch <laughs> David Tyree and, and Mario Moneyham down the sideline. So, so if they, on the 22-yard line, five minutes, 56 seconds left, they hand that ball off and kick that field goal, I'm thinking LeGarrette Blunt saying, this game is over, and Julio catch is the catch. 19 unanswered points. I got to go back to Brandon, because Brandon said he thought the game was over in the first half. 11 years in the league, you've been this. New England, Every the most dominant team in an era of parity, why did you think it was over? Everyone thought the game was over. The only reason, you, I mean, you give a disclaimer because they have Tom Brady and Bill Belichick, but mainly Tom Brady. He's on the field. Uh, I didn't believe until Matt Ryan got sacked, right. and then they got the holding call. That's when I said, okay, oh, go, it's Tom well, Brady's right. Tom Brady time. Up, but you but I was going to Tom Brady. Yes. I didn't, the reason why I didn't believe is because I was waiting on bad Brady. What is bad, Brady? Go back to 2013. They're in New England. They're down 24 to 0 to the Denver Broncos. Tom Brady was up and down that sideline, screaming and yelling at everybody, MFing everyone. In this game, he was like this the first two quarters. <clears throat> Everyone on the sideline had their head. Well, down. he was thinking, and, and normally, and, and yeah, that's of course goes, he that was goes, thinking. Goes to the, the, oh, the, 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 <laughs> I thought this was a I just shot his, about having five rings. And, you know what? I'll tell you. This and, you know, I'll tell of course, you one, he was thinking. I'll, I'll tell you one thing. You know what? We we all play this game. We also understand how momentum changes in these it, games, it, it, it's, it's and huge. how quickly it changes. One one half you're playing uphill, the next half you're playing downhill. And when Dante Hightower sacked Matt Ryan, strip sack, Branch gets the ball, and then they go down and score that touchdown. That game completely. changed changed the whole dynamics of it changed so then you also think about you know the sack that Matt Ryan took when he was trying to hit a guy running down the middle of the field that probably yeah. would have been the, the play of the game for them however Trey Flowers plays a great game and then the other thing I think about is third and ten from the New England nine on that last drive and he's got to hit Chris Hogan for a first down that was a money throw to keep that alive. Big and then, of course, to. the New England catch finally in a Super Bowl by Julian Edelman. It was just a tremendous momentum swing in that game. And huge. I'm telling you, Atlanta couldn't do anything to stop you it. Phil, there was Brady a play that crazy. really resonated with you. Well, a couple things. Tom Brady threw the ball incredible in the fourth quarter. Incredible. Outside. He threw tight, deep throws down the sideline, right on the target. The guys were covered. This is a Tom Brady throw, throwing the ball that we didn't see four or five years right. ago. Coming from this the quarterback was guru. He, man, I'm telling you, everything we talked about last week we saw in that game. But there's a couple plays. One, let's go back to the sack fumble. They're leading 28 to 12 at the time. And Dante Hightower is the outside pass rusher. Devontae Freeman, if he blocks him, he, oh, he goes by him, doesn't even see him. If he blocks him, Aldrick Robinson, the third inside receiver going deep, Wow. That's what they were going to try to do. This is going to be a completion, Wide open. and it's probably going to end the game. And why did he do it? This was third and one. Listen to me when I tell you this. It was really third and two. They were up at the line of scrimmage. They were going to stop the run. It was a great call by the uh, Atlanta's offense. The performance was not good, but, so it backfired on them. But don't you think this is the, the, the perfect example of why the New England Patriots have so much success? Do your job. Freeman, he didn't do his job, do and it cost him huge. Well, the, on that, on the other play. sack that Matt Ryan took that took him out of field goal range, I would disagree with that. You know, you got to run the football there. Go ahead and give it to your kicker who's having a great year. But Matt Ryan, I, I complained, should have thrown it away. No, when you watch the replay, he had no chance. It happened so fast, he, he had to take the sack. So what Brandon was trying to say in terms of Tom Brady in that game against Denver when he was going up and down the sidelines in dramatic fashion saying, my friend, let's get it done. <laughs>